We come to the practice because we realize that the best things in life come from within. There are a lot of good things outside, but the good things outside come from within other people. Generosity, virtue, compassion. These qualities that we appreciate in other people have to come from developing them inside. And we can't just take advantage of what they've, they're doing, because that kind of life is a life that's really not worth living. It has a strong sense of meaninglessness. But if you can realize, okay, you've got the potential for good qualities inside, you start with gratitude, realizing that what other people have done for you, they've done out of making a special effort. It didn't necessarily come easy. And so the good things in life require effort. So you turn around and look at your own mind. Okay, what in your mind do you need to develop? What do you need to let go? As the Buddha said, this is one of the traditions of the noble ones, is they delight in letting go of unskillful qualities, and they delight in developing skillful qualities. So you want to sort things out inside your own mind. Which ideas coming up in the mind are things that you can follow and trust, and which ones you can't trust. You've got to get the mind very, very still so you can see the distinction. That's why we're meditating. So we can sort out things in our own minds and then develop them in the direction that we realize is the best way to go. Sometimes you hear the Buddha taught non-duality. Well, I've never seen that. There are certain things that are skillful, he said. There are other things that are unskillful. That's a duality right there. And it's an important one because there's a strong duality between happiness and misery, pain and pleasure. Misery and pain are things we don't want. Pleasure and happiness are things that we do want, but we want them in a way that doesn't harm anybody, or we want them in a way that lasts. So we try to develop good, develop good, lasting, reliable qualities inside. That's where the goodness of the world comes from. And so when you're meditating, you're developing these qualities. You focus on the breath to develop mindfulness, alertness, develop your ardency in trying to do things well. And that becomes the foundation for developing all the other skilled, skillful qualities or skillful potentials that you have. To see this as an important practice, something you want to do every day. You brush your teeth every day, you wash yourself every day. We should also wash your mind every day, train your mind every day, because that's the foundation for everything else that's good in life.